Hey guys, so I am so excited to share with you this DIY 3D painting that I created. So to give you some background, this is my first piece of art in my original home and I just loved it. Didn't want to get rid of it, but I wanted to uh, make it match my decor. And so I decided to keep the painting, cover it with a new piece of art and make it still be absolutely fabulous in my apartment. So here I am with all my supplies. I have, you know, gold leaf, every paint color that I've used before. And guess what, guys? What I'm using for the background is five, five pieces of cardboard, not cardboard, but poster board that I got from Walmart for $1.97. So five for $1.97, I'm going through and I'm adding strips of the color decor um, piece of paint that I'm um, wanting to put in my apartment and here I am so some of the colors guys is a silver metallic a blue a brown which is something a little bit unusual for I didn't do brown before um, there's rose gold there's copper uh, regular gold um, silver if I didn't say that already so starting in with the base which is silver and I'm using the sponge just to kind of create layers of color and the whole idea and intent was to blend these out at this point I realized that brown is way darker than I thought it was gonna be I don't know what I was thinking, but it is. And at this point, like, when I saw this color, I just, I didn't know what to do. Like, I almost kind of gave up a little bit. You guys can see, like, my, my structure change. I started doing swirls. <laughs> uh, and this is the gold next. Um... I mean, it was just kind of a turning point because I realized this whole design is a lot darker than I wanted it to be originally, and I definitely was going to need to do something to fix it. So here's the silver that I'm going... In, in. Okay, guys, at this point, I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> so, what I decided to do is I knew it was just way too dark for what I wanted to achieve with this design. So, I went and added some white. White paint is probably something everyone should have in their arsenal <laughs> it just kind of muted down these colors so much it made it look so much better and it just kind of gave it that layered effect and I still had you know the colors in my design under it so definitely tone those down and they were not as harsh And then I got an idea. Um, I love the way it was coming along, but I started to say like, what color do I wanna see when I see this painting? And I wanted something that was gonna be blue and something calming. And so I decided to say, hey, I'm just gonna go in lightly with blue all over this painting and layer. And guys, it's already starting to turn out to be so much better than what it was before. And I love that the blue is still light enough where the, the other colors still peek through. And it's starting to look so good. And 
And one thing I gotta remember, like this, this is still cardboard. This is not canvas, so um, I can't put a lot of water. I can't put, you know, too much, or it'll start to really buckle a lot. So this is what it looks like. And I got an idea to do something else. I wanted to make it 3D. And so uh, what I'm doing is adding some layers to it. And I'm going to show you how I made those. So this is um, dish soap. And I'm going through and smoothing dish soap over a hard plastic or hard. Um, it could be anything that just won't melt. Um, and so I'm going through and I'm adding a glue gun design this is all glue gun um, an idea that anyone um, doing something similar would be to use colored glue gun or I mean co colored glue sticks or even metallic um, glue sticks to add color to this but I liked it just the way it was with a clear and this is me adding or what it looks like so I did three strips of those and now I'm just gluing them down to the canvas and it kind of helps conceal the areas that the cardboard wasn't big enough to and this is tacky glue that I'm using and it worked pretty well And guys, sorry, I'm sounding so, my, I'm losing my voice. There's me trying to push it down with my feet and ended up with glue on my feet. <laughs> so I'm going through with the tacky glue and I decided to just kind of paint the, the glue um, so that it is a, a solid layer. And it dries clear. So that's just my way of keeping that down. Same thing here. Great thing about tacky glue is it dries clear. And so putting those down. I'm so excited already, guys. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to add the gold leaf that I showed you earlier. Briefly, I showed you briefly. Um, these are gold leaf flakes and they're so easy to use. And so basically I'm just covering the spots where glue was with the gold flakes. And even as I'm looking at it, when I'm doing it, it already starts looking so good. The Go Flakes just add a, a bit of texture to it. And a little bit of luxury. It's soft. It's got nice blues with the beautiful ornatones of golds and rose golds and silvers and then it's got these gold flakes on top that just bring it all together and so I went into some of the glue stick design to put some of the gold because of course once you you know I was just gonna put it in between those but once I got started I just wanted a little bit of gold everywhere so I'm taking a paintbrush and I'm just um, brushing the excess off And 
and this is what it looks like guys so this is what i get to come home to i absolutely love it and i hope you do too it's so easy go and try it um don't be afraid to make mistakes i love the layers i love that you can see what the mistakes i did before it turned out so well thank you so much for watching please subscribe stay tuned for more diy projects thanks again bye bye